Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the SAI 340 Quattro may replace the vacuum pump, the B-29 dock receives crowdfunded flight test funding, the Royal Air Force welcomes two new Red Arrow pilots. I'm Bree Cross, it's October 27, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. It appears the often troublesome vacuum pump on GA airplanes is on its way out. This is because the FAA has issued a TSO approval to Sandia Aerospace for the long-awaited SAI-340 Quattro. The SAI-340 is a 4-in-1 unit that provides attitude, altitude, airspeed slip in an easy-to-read electronic format. With solid-state reliability, the SAI-340 Quattro displays air transport quality graphics in an easy-to-read EFIS presentation. For backup, the Quattro has a rechargeable lithium battery which can operate for 2 hours of nominal time and 30 minutes minimal time. Other features of the Quattro include pilot entered barometric correction, automatic and manual backlight control, internal battery charge status, and a panel tilt configuration. Since the Quattro was designed with 3-inch instrument hole mounting, installation may involve little more than dropping the unit into position. And Sandia says the FAA has issued a policy statement saying the Quattro can replace existing vacuum attitude instruments as a minor installation. The B-29, named Doc after one of the characters in Walt Disney's Snow White movie, has been in the process of being restored for many years. It finally came to a point of completion that all four engines were started last month. However, there was a great concern about rounding up enough money to begin the flight test program. The organization Restoring Doc, known as Doc's Friends, initiated a Kickstarter campaign to come up with the funding needed to complete the flight test program. The original goal of the program was $137,500, and until recently it looked like they were struggling to meet that goal. Now it's been reported in the Wichita Eagle that within the last week, they have not only reached that goal, but they exceeded it by about $3,000. The report quoted Jeff Turner, the chairman of Doc's Friends, as saying, quote, It's so exciting to have the airplane getting closer and closer to first flight, end quote. We at ANN are delighted to see that the goal has been reached and exceeded, and look forward to the day that this magnificent airplane will take to the skies again. After the break, joining a military aerobatic team is hard work. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Becoming a pilot for the Royal Air Force Red Arrow aerobatic team is nothing less than very hard work. Flight Lieutenant Matt Masters and Cy Taylor are the latest recruits to the team and are now embarking on their intensive training in preparation for the 2016 display season. The Red Arrows consist of nine display pilots flying Hawk jets. Each year, two or three experienced pilots join the team, succeeding the same number, leaving the squadron. On completion of a three-year tour with the squadron, the pilots either return to the front line, instructional, or staff duties. While in winter training, the new pilots will fly three times a day, five days a week, with each sortie being filmed and scrutinized in detail. Flight Lieutenant Masters said, quote, I will be extremely proud to be part of a team that can and has influenced so many people around the world, end quote. Flight Lieutenant Taylor added, quote, Like every pilot in the RAF, you always want to be the best you can, and for me, the Red Arrows always epitomize the height of professionalism and flying ability, end quote. Every Tuesday, we're going to look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. 
Here's this week's Arrow Calendar. If you haven't had your B-17 fix this year, you'll have a chance to get it done at Dallas Love Field Airport starting October 30th through November 1st. EAA is offering historic flight experiences in its B-17G Flying Fortress Aluminum Overcast. Even if you don't take a flight, just watching the operation and getting a chance to climb through this old beauty is worth a visit. The air show season is still alive and well at the Great Georgia Air Show being held at the Atlanta Regional Airport October 31st through November 1st. The Great Georgia Air Show is one of the most popular weekend festivals in Georgia and one of the most highly regarded aviation events in the nation. You'll be treated to an air show by the Navy Blue Angels, Sean Tucker, a bevy of World War II warbirds, and lots more. The JB San Antonio Air Show and Open House is also a three-day weekend event on October 30th through November 1st. It's being presented by the 502nd Force Support Squadron at Randolph Air Force Base. Headlining the schedule are the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, along with the Wings of Blue and U.S. Army's Golden Knights Parachute Teams. The show will also feature static displays and fun for all ages, and you won't want to miss world champion aerobatic pilot Rob Holland. Also on tap for the upcoming three-day weekend is a Stewart Air Show being held at Witham Field Airport in Stewart, Florida. This event includes a Friday night air show, amusement rides, a World War II battle reenactment and weapons demonstration, aircraft rides, and static displays. The Golden Knights parachute team will be at this air show along with other outstanding performances. After these messages, the Sikorsky Lockheed deal is headed towards completion. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to bendixking.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Sikorsky could become a part of Lockheed Martin by the end of the year, according to Lockheed Martin CEO Marilyn Houston. Reuters reports that Houston told analysts that the deal could be closed in the fourth quarter of 2015, which is earlier than previously expected. The FAA has certified the Black Hawk Modifications 867 horsepower XP140 new engine upgrade for Cessna 208A and 208B caravans. Its reported work is already underway, filing more than a dozen orders and reservations that have already been received. The takeoff of the New York Air National Guard's LC-130 Hercules ski-equipped aircraft on October 16th marked the official start of the 109th Airlift Wing's 28th season of support to science research at the South Pole. The South Pole summer is about to begin. NASA's first landing site, Exploration Zones Workshop, for human missions to the surface of Mars will be held October 27th through the 30th in Houston. The discussion will include natural resources to enable human explorers to land, live, and work safely on the Red Planet. An Ohio resolution repudiating the claim that Connecticut's Gustav Whitehead flew before Ohio's Wright brothers is headed to the state Senate floor. The Connecticut State Legislature claims their favorite son beat the Wright brothers into flight by about two years. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The top management of the Chicago-based United Continental Holdings, which is the parent company of United Airlines, has been in flux of late. Now the new acting CEO, Brett J. Hart, has just received a pay raise of $100,000 per month, according to media reports. 
ANN has been reporting on the changes of United's top management over the past few weeks, and it almost seems like you need a scorecard to keep track of who's in charge. In early September, then-CEO Jeff Smyzik resigned along with two other top corporate officers under cloudy conditions that could include federal criminal charges. Oscar Munoz then succeeded Smyzik to the job, but suffered a heart attack leading to an extended medical leave. This led to Bret Hart being named as acting CEO. Hart had previously held the position as the company's executive vice president and general counsel. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.